<sighs> hungry, hungry hippos. That's what they I call was, it. I was thinking hungry like a hippo. <laughs> it's a cute you thing. just hit that thing and that hippo just takes those marbles. It's the great. Fender Custom Shop. <laughs> a place of majesty <laughs> and all seriousness. Um, no hippos. No, it's, it's a place of fun where your dreams come true and you can do whatever you want. Zany or a time machine. Or like or if something. you wanted to put a hippo on your guitar. I, w I would do that, actually. I'm talking about putting Maggie and Nessie on one of mine eventually. I would have um, one of those guys build for me. There you go. Interesting. Anyway, we want to talk about quickly why and how we here at Casino Guitars really stay true to the origins of the Fender Custom Shop and how we work with them and how we work with our customers and how we just like love developing what they do. Yeah, agreed. It's kind of fun. Click like. Subscribe. Hit the bell. It makes a noise. Ding. Ding. The triangle is just the arrow that plays things, though. I was I was wanting to be like a, a dinner triangle bell. Diddle, diddle, diddle. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. I never got to experience that in my life. You just get one for your house. <sighs> Kids, story. boys. Diddle, diddle. Yeah. So the Fender Custom Shop was developed way back in the yonder years of the 80s, which now sounds ancient to some of these young folks. I mean, it kind of is. Oh, it's depressing. It's like, I'm good. I shush your face. It is. Um, it was developed in this strange way by these master folks to um, to build one-off guitars for individuals. Like artists. We're individuals, artists. An yeah. artist, yes. Like I mean, we were laughing about one of the first Fender Custom Shops ever built was a Japanese guitar that was refinished. They refinished it, right? In John Page, color. I believe, yeah, right? Yeah. Or is that John Page or John English? I just went blank. Oh, I can't remember. Sorry. Um, but it's just the idea that it was just to do custom fenders. And the, and and it's become something entirely different. I don't think, even when they built it at first, it wasn't really meant to make money. No, it was more like a showcase, right? Like, here's what we can do. Like, we have the best guitar makers in the world. Here's what we can do. Well, because the 80s were a dark time for fenders. Yes. Like, all leading up, like it's, it was like the death nails of CBS. They were sort of closing out. Bankruptcy was around the corner. Bill Schultz comes in, saves the day, buys it for an outrageously low amount of like three mil or something silly, um, relaunches it, and it's like we need something that sort of shows that we are the best. Yes. And we can do whatever you want. The dream factory is born thus. Right. And so they, they originally started taking orders, and they had cut a paper ledger, as we're showing here, and it goes through all of the different guitars that were first built. And we actually have a video series sort of planned to go through a lot of these different guitars. So just stay tuned if you're interested in these. We think it's fascinating. It, I mean, it really is, you know, and I think, I don't know, I mean, I, maybe we'll look back one day the same way we look at like 50s guitars now, who knows? I mean, maybe, nice. that'd be weird. It would be weird. It'd be weird, but, but I mean, that original batch of like the first like 20 to 50 Fender custom shops. Isn't that crazy? I mean, because John English has become legendary in his own right. Yep. And the, the John English neck, you know, if you can get one of those things, it's like the, and I, I sort of feel like Dale Wilson took the torch there from oh, as far as the oh, neck, yeah. like yeah. The, the hard stick of butter neck. That's what I call it. I have all sorts of weird analogies. That, anyway. <laughs> I remember you saying that to him in the end one year. He was just like, I, th 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 yeah. Then he started laughing. Like, I said something else that was inappropriate linked with it. But um, yeah. he's like, oh my God, this is how I describe your neck. I'm not going to say it on YouTube. Yeah, no. Um, but he got a kick out of it. Uh, no, but we, we folks at Casino Guitars, we are very serious about building and getting built one guitar at a time for one person not the mass wholesale orders all the time and just trying to sell you whatever needs to be sold that is being produced by the custom shop we love those pieces as well we do lots sure. of custom runs that we offer everyone across the world but we really love building your guitar from scratch and those other guitars are great they really really They're are phenomenal. it might be exactly what you want those are the ones i own that, me too you know i i have not specked out my own but it's yeah. a lot of fun. And we say this all the time. I know you probably think we just say it, but we really do spend hours with individuals just figuring out, you know, what do you want? What's the best choices for you? Hey, maybe that's not a great choice. And I, you know, people I think are starting to call us because they know that we will tell them, hey, yeah, this is, this is going to be a fantastic guitar. Maybe you shouldn't do this. We, we work with you folks know? that we're not even selling guitars with. This is the maybe the antithesis of what Fender does. I don't know. They like to sell guitars. But if they have questions about a guitar purchase, something, we, we love to help. It's no big deal. But back to um, back to what we do, we love starting from the beginning. Yes. And like starting from, you know, what do you want to do? Do you want to do Strat, Tele, Jazzwar, Jag, Jazzwar, Jaguar, Jazzmaster? I hybrided the two. Um, hybridized. That's my new word. 
Um, We've done some hybridized things too. We do like, some weird you know, things. P based bodies on tellies, weird, weird stuff. Like oh, that. Sasha, <laughs> you strange Whatever. minks out there across the ocean. Uh. Um, no, but that's how we take it very seriously. And we know you do too because you, you, it's your hard earned money. Yep. It takes a long time to wait. Um, and it's a lot of energy and like emotion invested in it yeah. too. And like, and we, we, we did as well. I get that way. Cause there's certain guitars that, you know, become very special to us and they're not our guitars, but I consider them sort of part of the casino family forever. Well, cause you put this time and this effort right into it. And this, you know, you get excited with the person who's building it. Um, and so you're invested in like seeing this thing through, right? And when it comes in, it's really exciting for us. It is. And it, it often takes a lot of emails. Yes. A lot of phone calls. Sometimes one email. Usually not, though. Sometimes one phone call. Sometimes, but usually not, yeah. We pretty much insist on a phone call. Yeah. Because there's so many things you can miss in the emails that you just don't think of. That's right. On a spec sheet or when you're talking. Just small little details that can make the difference between like a great guitar and the guitar. Yes. And our hopes are to get the guitar built for you that becomes your, your number one. The one that you love, the one you cherish, the one you pass down to like the little humans in your life or the girlfriend or boyfriend in your life one day or it gets buried with you. Don't do that or do it. That'd be kind of cool. Could. That'd be pretty Very much like Viking, you know, or like ancient Egyptian, like, you know. I mean, I mentioned like underworld. before, like I bury guitars in the walls of the guitar shop here. There's, there are guitars here. Like, so when somebody takes over this guitar shop years when we're all gone and They'll find guitars hidden in the walls. I think that's fine. 37 Squire affinities. There are Squires. <laughs> <They're not laughs> nice don't, don't think you're going to find Fender Custom Shops knocking down walls. Ah, that'd be funny if a thief broke in. And just like beating their walls down. I was like, dude, there's guitars yeah. on the hooks, right? Just take those. Just take those, please. That was... The others are not going to be in good shape. It's, like it's like a 1993 Yamaha Pacifica or something in that, that wall. And then there's a Squire <laughs> bullet from a 2004. I, I don't do that. It's... um. We, we no, but we really do enjoy. Like it's it's a fun process. I it love, is, and everyone at the Fender Custom Shop are just dudes and gals like us. They're kind of idiots as well true. that love guitars and realize they love where they work. Most of them. So there's going to be grumpy people everywhere, I'm sure. But um, like we have Derek. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. No, that was priceless. Oh my god, that made me happy. I'm so that just, that's like, <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's like when you said tolerate the other day. It really got me happy. That was in a video last from last uh, week or something. I don't remember. It was fantastic. I thought he said something entirely different. Um, another thing we can't say on YouTube. I can't say it on the, or anywhere. I told my wife what I thought he said. He's like, how did your brain even go to that? And why would you say those words? It's, it's a reflection on your own sick, twisted brain. Yes, but it's okay. <laughs> I know. Like, don't look at my, my browsing history. It's not that. Oh, like, like hot blondes? Oh, no. <laughs> it's it's all, mild. Mild and tame. It's all sorts of weird Ugh. things. Like, where did Bjork spend her spring vacation in, in Spain in the year 2006? That's true. That's probably something I've looked up. I, I, I yesterday. Looked up. No, probably I did, yesterday. I did, I did look up Bjork this morning. That's why I brought her up. Not the weird, but I didn't know she was in like a band before Bjork was Bjork. I was like, oh. That's cool. These are the things I learned upon entering Casino Guitars early in the morning. York was in a band. Monday. <laughs> well, she was Did 22. you know? <laughs> Breaking news. I was like, news. no, I didn't. I get so excited. <gasps> oh, my God. It's uh, a, I need therapy. Um, yeah, no, and like, and like our whole goal back to the custom shop is we want to help you build a knockout guitar. Yes. Like a knockout instrument. And we have a whole video series that's going to be unloading over the next few weeks, like probably one a week coming out on like, you know, the, the things to actually really focus on, like the neck mm. or the body parts or, you know, the pickups, the, the paint colors, like there's different things that each one sort of breaks down in detail how we do it and um, what we like and what we don't like, which isn't always right or wrong. No, yeah, I think we're pretty good about saying that. Hey, this is what I think, but. I mean, we're really good about like, I, I've had only, you know, it's happened quite a bit where I sort of have to, negotiate with folks that are wanting to build and I was like I just I have strongly discouraged things and sometimes but sometimes I'm wrong and like and there's there's one build I'm still excited about we're, we're doing God, this is like hopefully we'll see it next year or something every part on the guitar is mix matched oh yeah I just, it's like a John Deere green with like you know a anodized gold thing here a piece of plastic a telly knob different tuners I mean it's it 
is crazy, but I'm That's super pretty. pumped about it. I have I have one coming in this 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 month that I'm pumped about that we worked on for a long time. It's got a really unique bridge pickups. Gonna be a strat. Not not that crazy like mix match, but Wait, which be. which pickup are you putting in the bridge? A Freelan Sunbucker. Ooh, yeah, I remember you talking about this. We, yeah, we went went around you know talked about it for a long time, and it's it's finally it's fun though because that was when when was that? That was a year ago, fourteen yeah, months ago. Year. Yeah, so. Well, yeah. I, and I like, and I, I have a guy that I'm working with right now. Like he's got a, he's got a few things that we're building together, and he's become a, a strange friend. Unfortunately, I yeah. feel bad for him and his choice. And we talk on the phone a bit too often, but um, he's got, he, he, he just got he got a red guitar strap from us that had these great. It was a it was a custom build, not a master build either. Um, but they did a custom job on the knobs. Remember Ooh. when they did that really dirty? Because our request is a very specific thing. Yep, I remember that. The, and then, but then like we got like this. This base that Vincent's going to be building for us too, with the these two really odd pickups. Like one's a Curtis Novak monster oh, yeah, like yeah. EB pickup, and then the other one's like a PJ sort of like hybrid. I mean, I'm just excited to see these things. Me too. And play with them, and like know that we were allowed to be part of the creation. Yes. And I, I always do thank people, and I mean it, like for letting us come in your life and be a part of your musical journey. It means a lot to us, and we love it, and it's fun. Absolutely. It's um. So thank you for um, letting us be a part of that with you. And like, you know, if you're thinking about the Fender Custom Shop and you have questions and you have a dealer you already like working with, we're more than happy to help. Yes. Like we send people to other dealers all the time. It's or true. if there's something that we think that would fit your thing in a pre-owned market that would be just there. Oh yeah. We're always searching. We just saw Yuri that we saw at the street for a really affordable and we're like, we might go take a three hour drive to go get that guitar because it looks awesome. Did that one of our friends from Instagram pointed yeah. out to us? Yeah, I know. It's like it was, there's just beautiful instruments out there, yeah. and we love it. We love what the Fender Custom Shop does. All of our friends there, from the master builders to to lowly Ed. <laughs> Poor Ed. Hey. I'm sorry that it has to do with us. Ed, we apologize. <laughs> no, nah, whatever, Ed. But nah, Ed's, we're, Ed's I, my we're boy. Good. We, were, uh, we had yeah. a good meeting no, the other great. day, too. I, I'm all thumbs up on Ed and like Joe and like all the team there. They they did some solid work, and the stuff they just came out with to help us, it, it helps us help you, which is awesome. <laughs> So Jerry Maguire. Yes. Help us. Help you. Help me. Help me. Help, help you. you. Show me the God, I need to see Jerry. I'm watching all the old Tom Cruise movies right now. Cause like after Top Gun, like guys look at me like, I forgot how much I like that guy. Like I love Edge of Tomorrow, Live Dower Pete, whatever they call it. Um, but I'm going back and watching the Mission Impossibles now, which are a little bit hokey, but still fun. Still awesome. Um, and then God, what else was uh like everything from Last Samurai to everything he does. Oh, that was a good one. I haven't watched the Top Gun yet. So. Oh my I lord! I know, I know. You are not allowed to come here tomorrow until. Cool. Cool. <laughs> you know, take the day off. You go watch the movie. Yeah, that's two and a half hours gone. It's all right. It's worth it. Oh lord! But um, thanks for letting us be a part of this with you. Yes, it, it means a lot. We really do enjoy it. It really does. Um, and it, and we just love helping add these beautiful pieces of musical instrumentation to the world. I'm gonna go home. There you go. I'm gonna go watch nice, some Tom Cruise. It's a nice closing sentiment. It's very nice. It is. I'm, I, I'm thrilled to be part of it, and I feel very privileged. Privileged. Agreed. Thank you, guys. That's it. We'll see you later. Ta ta.